Hey folks, Bo to Bob here. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, I wanted to show you all something. Um, you know, my channel, it's, it's a channel about things that I'm interested in and things that um, I think that will make my life better and maybe some of the people out there in YouTube land make their lives better. And so one of the things that I really enjoy is technology. And, you know, when um, smartphones first came out and I saw the price of them, I thought, hey, these things, I don't need a smartphone. This flip phone I have will do everything I need. So I resisted, I resisted, I resisted. And um, so I won't go into the reasons why I got a smartphone, but I eventually I got a smartphone and I chose the iPhone. Why did I choose, choose the iPhone? I chose the iPhone because regardless of the carrier you have, your phone will always be updated. So with that in mind, the today is September 20th. And today the new iPhone came out. Well, I haven't bought the new iPhone. Um, I'm going to hold off on that for a couple of uh, months. But um, eventually I will because um, I'm going to give my old iPhone to my mother. And then I'm going to take the iPhone she has, which is a 5S. It's not being updated. It has exceeded its lifetime and uh, it's still a great phone but what I'm going to do I'm going to use that old iPhone I'm going to take the sim out of it and I'm just going to use it as a camera I'm going to use it as a music machine I'm going to use it for all kinds of things an auxiliary monitor like right now I'm looking at this to make sure that I'm framed. I hope I'm framed because I've been looking up most of the time and see it's right here at the edge of my hat. So hopefully I'm in frame and y'all will understand. The reason I want to um, have it the camera down a little bit is I'm going to be talking about the latest update to iOS. The latest update to iOS is 13. The one previous to the previous iOS to the release that came out on September 19th is iOS 12.4.1. Those numbers don't mean anything. Just remember, if you got an update, update your phone. That's the big thing you got to do. There's security problems with these phones that are found, and by putting the latest update on them, you keep yourself secure, keep your private information private. Now, there's already a, a problem with iOS 13. That's not what I'm here to talk to you about, but I will mention it. There is an update already for iOS 13. It's 13, I believe it's 13.0.1. I'm not 100% sure on the, the number, but it will be out. Um, September 30th. So as soon as September 30th comes around, um, if you don't want to move to iOS 13 right now because of the vulnerability, put your phone, take it, turn off automatic updates so that you don't get the update to iOS 13. But on September 30th, you're going to want to um, turn them automatic updates on. Now, what is it that they can do What's the vulnerability? I don't know how to do it, but there's a vulnerability out there that will let you, from a locked phone without the passcode, will allow you somebody to go in and look at your contacts. I believe that's what it is. They can get all of your contact information, all of the people whose telephone numbers, addresses, emails, all that are listed in your contact list they can get them without the passcode. So I don't know how that's done. I don't care how it's done. Um, that's not my goal. My goal is to um, uh, show you what feature an iOS 13 that is just terrific. Hey, are you tired of robocalls? So 
I go to your contact list. I mentioned your contact list is vulnerable, but the neatest thing to iOS 13 is you can turn on a switch. By default, it's turned off. But any phone call you receive that is not from a person in your contact list will automatically be forwarded to your voicemail. And if they want to leave a voicemail and you can call them back, that's great. Then, once they leave a voicemail, they leave their phone number, you say, hey, I want to add that person to my contact list. You can add them to your contact and then they, they will be able to call you the next time and come straight in without going straight to voicemail. But my phone has just blown up in recent months from robocalls and it is very, it's irritating to me because sometimes I'll be in the middle of shooting a video and a phone call comes in and the video stops because I'm using my cell phone as my camera. That's annoying to me. It's not right. And we should be able to take back our phones and make them ours and tell these robocallers, knock it off. So I'm going to show you how to um, change the setting on your iPhone. If you use the iPhone, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, if you're an Android user, this feature may already be available to you. I don't know. I'm not an Android expert. I'm not even an iPhone expert, even though I have one. But I heard about this uh, feature months ago, and I, I couldn't wait to get the iOS 13 to come out so I could turn it on and stop, rece stop receiving all of these robocalls. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do so it. So let's go ahead and close this. And what you'll want to do, I hope you can see my phone. You want to hit settings. Now I put my settings on this permanent bar down here, but it looks like a gear. It's a gray button with a gear. It's an Apple app. So you'll come into settings and you'll want to scroll up until you find the phone icon. It's green with a white handset. You'll touch that. You'll want to scroll up and so it's it's about one screen up and you'll see normally this is in the off position it's called silence unknown callers you'll want to touch that button and turn it on now let me read to you what it says calls silence unknown callers calls from unknown numbers will be silenced sent to voicemail and displayed on the recent list. Incoming calls will continue to ring from people in your contacts, recent outgoing calls, and Siri suggestions. That'll be the interesting one, Siri suggestions. So Siri's gonna, I guess, look at the phone calls that come in because you have this switch turned on and they will, she will um, make the phone ring, I guess. So I've so far received two calls from numbers that are not in my contacts, and I didn't even know they came in. When I turned the phone on, when I woke it up, it's always on. When I woke it up and I opened um, to my home page, I saw my phone calls that I had two phone calls that I did not hear ring, which I think is great. It, like I said, I've been waiting for this and was had my fingers crossed, hoping that it wasn't just a rumor and it's not. So folks, if you're using an iPhone and you're able to get iOS 13 and above, turn on silence unknown callers under the phone under settings in the phone section. So, hey, this is Bo to Bob saying thank you for watching my videos. I want to thank you for watching my videos and uh, hit the like, subscribe, 
Share this with your friends. If you know someone who has an iPhone and they're troubled by robocalls, share this video with them. They will thank you. I'll thank you. <laughs> and uh, so it's just a great step in technology. I'm glad Apple has finally taken some steps to help get this uh, problem of robocalls under control. So thank you very much, Apple. Next time, have a good day. And this is Bo to Bob wrapping this up. Out.